Next Wave DV's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Hey, this is Sean of Next Wave DV, and we're here at Zaxworks booth, and we've got Zax right here. Uh, we're going to go over some of the new features of the new Zaxworks Invigorator Pro. Yes, uh, we've got some really crazy new features now, Sean. Um, one of the problems up to this point is you always had to have sort of other programs to work along with our program. Okay, now it's all in one. You've got everything you need right in one spot. So as you're working on your titles and your logos, trying to trying to knock out your graphics, um, we've got the stuff that enables you to like do the Bezier drawing right in the program. It's so cool. As you're drawing, you can see it turn into a 3D object. Okay drop holes right inside the objects, those become 3D too. So that's really cool. Lay out your text right inside the thing, animate the whole thing, bam, it's, it's done. So that's one of the main new features. Other new things are this, you can now uh, warp your objects. So you know, having stuff spill on the screen and drop into position, that looks cool. But having it actually then you know bend a little bit, that really makes it look special. So being able to do bends and twists and turns, we've got a special warp that's called uh, Adventure Warp, and that gives your, your text the instant look of Indiana Jones, right? It's just go boom, right there. So that's really cool too, instant warping. Uh, the other thing now, we've got a really special cool feature for, for those of you that have lots of graphics and no time. Uh, we call it text substitution. It's really simple. Um, it's sort of like turning your 3D animated graphics into a mail merge function. So you set up the graphic once, you get approvals, everything's good. Then you take a text file and you lay out all the other data that you might need. So like first names, last names, uh, you know, the jersey number, location, position on the team, anything like that. And then you link up the file with the animation. Then the program goes through and it'll, it'll take like all the first, last names, punch them in, uh, build the models for you, reapply the textures, adjust the animation so the timing looks just like you had it, and then render it all out. When it's done with that, goes back to the beginning, grabs the data for number two, does the same thing, boom, 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 over and over. It's like a it's like a graphics factory in 3D. So when we go to over, when we uh, get to materials, uh, we've got tons and tons and tons of new materials all all set up, ready, ready to go. Um, a lot of these are procedural shaders, so you can now drop. Uh, like, like the um, you know gradients uh, onto the guys, um, separate uh, different kinds of materials for different purposes. We even have like you know camouflage here built in, so you can work with that. Now, when you go into these um, materials, you'll see the old material interface just had these five um, settings to them. It keeps it simple, makes it look good like that. Now, though, there's a little arrow right there next to each material. When you turn that open, you can see how the material's been created. So this now lets you create um, like a, a composite color using blend modes. Um, just like in Photoshop, just like in After Effects, you can stack materials on top of each other using alpha channels to cut the material out. Um, so these, uh, these give you like procedural textures, procedural gradients. Um, anytime you want, you just click this button, you get a new one, and we can change this to like a gradient. The gradient editor opens up and you can now see you've got you know, fun stuff here. Double click to add it, adjust your gradient, whatever, change the color, hit OK, and then it comes back on the stack. So these guys, we can turn these off and turn the whole thing now, you see, into like a, a blue camouflage with a gradient background. So lots of fun stuff that we can do there. And so I, I know the last version was uh, only 32-bit compatible, but uh, how are you doing with 64-bit right now? 64-bit, uh, uh, we're, we're sort of half there. Windows, done. Um, so right now you've got 64-bit on Windows right in After Effects CS5, okay? So that's perfect. Those guys are really happy dogs, let me tell you. On the other side, we've got the Mac side. We had to convert to 64-bit, plus we had to take all the old stuff that was done in Carbon and switch it over to Coco. Now, I know that's a lot of like nonsense for most people, but to a developer, it's like where everything is built from. So the features are all done for the Mac version. Uh, the standalone version of ProAnimator is done for the Mac version, but to get it to work inside of After Effects CS5 on the Mac, we have to do this Coco conversion too. And we're, we're almost done with that. We almost had it to the show. We were like, so close. Um, 
but we're close. We figure a couple more weeks of programming, a couple more weeks of uh, you know testing, and then it'll be out the door. So. And what are, what's the uh, pricing availability on it right now? Uh, the price is uh, four ninety nine during the show. Uh, normally it's six fifty. Uh, grab the show if you go to the website. Within the next few days, you'll be able to get the show special right off the website. So you don't even have to be there. Four ninety nine for Pro Animator. Um, if you wanted Invigorator Pro, it is three forty nine. All right, so it's three forty nine for Invigorator Pro. That's the plugin inside of After Effects. Four ninety nine for Pro Animator, which does all the fancy animation for you too. Okay, and where can everyone go to find out more information about you? That would be zaxworks.com. Z a x w. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Z a x w e r k s dot com. Um, go there, hit the button that says price list, and you'll see the whole thing. All right. Thank you very much, Zach. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Sean. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.